Hello there. My name is Girish Karnad. Let me tell you a story. Many centuries ago, in a far eastern land, a young boy called Lopsang, he wanted to learn Kung Fu. So one day, they set off. His father took him to the most revered martial arts master of the time, who was a monk in a nearby monastery. The monk accepted Lob Sang as his disciple. As soon as the father took his leave, the monk initiated the boy into the discipline and asked him to fetch a bucket of water. When the boy put the bucket in front of the monk, he was instructed to slap all the water out of it. As soon as he had finished, the monk asked him to bring another bucket of water. And the boy, who had been brought up to respect his elders, did so without question. He slapped all the water out of it when he was asked to bring another bucket of water and repeat the entire process. This went on day after day, week after week, month after month, without a break for more than a year. Finally, the boy had had enough. So he asked his teacher's permission to go home for a few days. The monk agreed. And the boy set off on his journey home. News reached the village that he was coming back. People waited expectantly for the young hero's return. They wanted to see for themselves what he had learnt in a year. But Lob Sang was most apprehensive. He was convinced he had learnt nothing.
When he finally reached his village, he rushed to his parents' home. But his friends followed him, crowding around him. All of them gathered around him at the big family dining table and continued to pester him. Show us Kung Fu. Show us Kung Fu. Unable to bear the shame of it any longer, young Lob Sang got up and cried out in frustration, I know no Kung Fu. Our young disciple was shocked. Unknown to him, he had become strong and learned Kung Fu through sheer persistence by repeating the same tiring process over and over again. This story illustrates that the ability to commit yourself to a game plan and be consistent in that commitment, no matter what the odds, can yield results on an unimaginable scale. Now let me tell you another story. It's an organization that has been extensively written about in the prestigious Forbes magazine. It has achieved the sought after Six Sigma grade, a company that has reached 99.99% error free operation. It's not a Motorola, it's not a GE, it's not a fancy software firm in the Silicon Valley. No, I'm talking about the Dabbawalas of Mumbai. Around 500 Dabbawalas deliver 1,75,000 lunches every day and take the empty tiffin boxes home. And they make one mistake in two months. It's a very complex chain as the lunches pass through a network of hands before arriving warm and fresh at the office worker's desk. And the whole process is reversed as the tiffin boxes head home. And it's all done. Flawlessly. One mistake in two months. Any more, says Raghunath Meghde, president of Mumbai Tiffinwala's Association, and no one will want it. This largely illiterate workforce relies on just symbols marked on tiffin bins and manages a complex and consistent operation with an efficiency that even the world's most advanced organizations can only aspire to. The reason? consistency and commitment to the larger picture. I have one more example of how commitment to a game plan and its repeated application can lead to success after success. But I'm afraid it's a very, very unpleasant 